Hello friends, today I will show how to plot graph in NSYS Fluent and extract the data while using XY plot and make it and extract the data and plot it the graph on Excel sheet. Okay, so uh, I, this is the required file which I have done the solution. Now I will right click on it and I will open open this file and after it will get opened then I will show how to extract the data and how to do the XY plotting on the Excel sheet. Okay. Once it will get opened, then in there in the post processing option, we will get the option called XY plot. From there, we'll from there we'll extract the data along like center line along at different different distances to plot the graph simultaneously. Okay, so here is our file opening. Once it will open, then I will show how to plot the graphs. Okay. So already I have run the uh, simulations. Okay. For 100 iteration uh, for 120 iteration i have run okay and uh, we if you want to see the contour we'll go to result then contour and then here on the contour we can select like velocity and mac number then we'll press ctrl a select all these zones and we'll click on save and display then it will display the whole contour of our mac number okay Let's say if we want to extract the value of the velocity at different different point like point like here, 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 like either on near the wall or either on the center line or at a distance 100 mm or 20 mm or 200 mm from this phase. Okay, this is our inlet phase. This is our outlet phase. Okay, if you want to extract the data, then let's go to XY plot. First of all, let's say we want to create some point we want to create some point at some distance in order to make in order to extract the data at that point so we'll click on, we'll go to result in result section we can see surfaces right click on the surfaces click on new on keeping the cursor on new this this will get highlighted click on line or rake now we can we can write the name whatever you are making let's say we are making the line at a distance of 80 mm so let's say i'm writing line dash 80 mm you can write anything okay there's no, nothing specific like you have to write this name only you can give any name according to yourself according to your compatibility okay now see like here is the inlet part okay from here from here we want to inlet uh, inletting from here from this point at 80 mm we want to take the temperature contour or velocity contour or pressure contour okay like this for that from x from this point this is the inlet part okay this is 0 comma 0 from 0 comma 0 to 80 comma 80 uh, to we want to draw a line at 80 mm distance okay so x naught will be what 80 mm in terms of meter it will come 0 0.08 0 0.08 okay same here also 0 0.08 at 80 mm this is like we are giving the coordinate point of this point and this point at 80 mm we want to see okay in y like we want to see the contour in whole this y uh, transfer direction right in the at a distance of 80 mm we want to see the contour like different different contours or different different values like different different graphs we want to see at particular distance so we will we'll write the x-axis distance and uh, coordinate point and y coordinate point so we want to in we want the graph in full transfer direction so y value you can write it as minus one to one like y is varying from minus one like negative part to positive or minus one to one and x is varying uh, and x like this line the line which we will get exist it will exist at 80 mm from minus one to one like in, it will co cover the whole uh, this this whole like uh, whatever geometry is there it will cover whole geometry if we keep minus one to one okay now we'll click on create okay now close it it has been created okay okay now see uh, here the line we can see in the surfaces like line 80 mm it already came here okay but it is not show but it is not visible in our geometry so click on display here at the top click on display and here we can see mesh display option will be there here line 80 mm it, it is not highlighted right everything is converted uh, everything is like selected but this line 80 mm is not selected that's why we cannot see the line 80 mm uh, where it where it exists so click on this after clicking then press on display then we can see the line has been created at a distance of 80 mm right now line has been created now if you want to extract the data or, or if you want to see like what 
practice the variation of velocity pressure or temperature along this line along this line atmm so after like making like this now click on display close now we will on this line we will see different different what are the values of temperature pressure and velocity varying on this along this line in the transfer direction now click on plot go to xy plot on the xy plot we want to see the variation in y direction right so the here is option called plot direction in plot direction we want to see the variation in y direction so y value will be 1 and x value will be 0 okay now we want to see the pressure variation like let's see we want to see the pressure variation first of all this one keep like this only direction vector and this one like so many options are there like a static pressure pressure coefficient dynamic pressure we want to see static pressure so we'll leave like this only and we want to see the variation along line atmm you can see this this option is here line atmm along line atmm we want to see the variation of pressure how it is varying okay click on this click on save and plot now here we can see the variation along line atmm is given uh, is shown here static pressure is shown on the y-axis and uh, line the line the atmm line which was uh, vertically vertically we made now one line atmm how along that line how the pressure is varying this graph is shown here okay now click on close now let's see we want to extract this uh, this graph we want to extract this graph this this graph values on the excel sheet and we want to plot it okay so what we have to do just click on xy plot again this one to keep close keep close see here already we have uh, plotted one xy plot one is written click on this here already the graph which uh, we can see on the screen th that is plotted from here only xy plot one okay now here is the option called write to file click on write to file and after clicking after the tick mark will uh, be visible click on write and after writing we can save anywhere in our folder okay let's say if you want to uh, save somewhere let's say we will give the name as uh, let's say I, I will shave here okay let's say i will save here okay i'll give the name as um, we can give it this is the variation of a static pressure right I, we can save in any folder let's say i will save here okay so we can, here we will write it like variation now we can give the naming variation of static pressure along along transverse direction transverse direction at x is equal to atmm at x is equal to atmm i wrote like how the pressure uh, static pressure is varying okay now we will click on okay so it will save all the points regarding uh, related to these graphs so that now we can open our excel sheet in order to see the graph how it is showing to us okay we will see the graph wherever you have saved just open this here is our static uh, pressure okay at line it is equal to atmm how we have saved it will be showing here okay here we have saved like variation of static pressure along transfer direction now right click on it go to open with click on notepad and we can see all the data all the data here okay now we'll copy all this data and we'll open in the excel sheet in order to plot the graph okay after copying after selecting press ctrl c open excel after opening excel copy the data ctrl v go to insert click on the line graph click on the line graph or click on here and we can see the graph here okay let's say we want to click here okay here okay see this is our graph let's see we want to change the value like okay let's see we want to uh, use some other graph mm, we'll use we'll use this okay this plot okay now in the excel sheet let's say we want to give the naming on the let's see this is the distance this is the y direction distance like right and the graph at x is equal to 80 mm that the, the line was vertical line 
that is coming on the x axis let's say we want to change this point and we we want to keep this on y axis and this one we want to swap like we want to swap the x and y value so what we have to do and uh, let's say we want to add title also so we can uh, click on uh, plus and it's a title so we can give a title let's say we want to swap the value like uh, x axis value and y axis value click on click on the values right click then go to select data click on edit select all the x values data delete it click on this arrow and uh, on the x axis uh, like earlier x axis uh, on the x axis we were showing the distance now we but we want to show the variation of temperature right so we will go here and we will select all these values we will select all these values it will automatically load it here okay it is you can see it is already loaded now click enter okay now select all these values delete it click on the arrow and now select these values because we want to swap the x and y values like x and y coordinate we want to swap now click enter click ok then ok then here we can see like we have uh, swapped the values we here we have swapped the values like now the um, the value which was earlier showing on the y axis now it is showing on the x axis here and the value which was showing on the x axis now it is showing on the y axis let's say we want to change the range also okay so click on this data like it is varying from minus 0.04 to plus 0.04 but we want to keep the range as like minus 0.03 to plus 0.03 three only like we want to change the range so click on this value right click format axis here we can see the bound the bound option is there here we can write it minus 0 0.032 plus 0 0.032 uh, so in here now our graph press enter so now our graph is varying from minus 0 0.03 to 0 0.03 that's it uh, before it was varying from minus 0 0.04 to plus 0 0.04 now it is varying from minus 0 0.03 to 0 0.03 okay let's say we want to change the range also here let's say we want to change the this range also okay this range let's say it is varying from 0 to around uh, how much it is like 7 lakh 7 lakh it is varying right but we want to vary up to like uh, so that our graph will be completely visible we want to vary up to 4 lakh only so uh, right click on this value we'll click on this value right click on it select data no not select data right click on it go to format axis here we can see the value the minimum value is zero here minimum value is zero maximum value is seven lakh but we want not seven lakh we want like four uh four lakh fifty thousand okay or let's say we want four lakh only four lakh so four lakh okay press enter so now here we can see the graph our graph is completely visible with good range okay now if you want to change the chart type we want to keep line so we can prefer different line or let's say if you want to change the different different type then we can change it okay different different graph we can plot it from here we can change the chart type we can select it line and we can uh, select line or like according to our requirement we can change the different points okay so this was a and here on, on selecting all this we can give the access title here also we can give the access title here we can select and give the chart title okay thank you now like this uh, we saw how to plot the graph from x how to extract the data from ansys and plot it on the excel sheet thank you